would you say, I, I hear you talking about your childhood a lot and, and kind of wanting that freedom that you eventually got through your art. Um, would you say that the the bird, the boy with the bird mask mm-hmm. is a self-portrayal? Is it a self-portrait? I wouldn't say self-portrait, more of like a self-reflection mm-hmm. of my life and a lot of people that I grew up with, you know. Like, I take... A lot of it is very personal. Like, this is how I felt growing up. But I also know there's so many other kids that relate to that or Mm -hmm. people that resonate with that. Like, today, uh, someone DM'd me um, just like, hey, I've been incarcerated for so many years or so much time, and I saw your mural in the the Chicago Sun-Times. I forgot they did, like, a feature on me. And he's like, I cut it out, and I have it in. Like, I've had, I, like, just stared at it. And that's what, like, resonated for me as a kid is, like, my pops being incarcerated. I would, like, draw pictures send it to, you know, mail it to him and wow. he'll be able to, and he would like tell me like, oh, it's dope. He's sending me more art. So that's what like motivated me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a double, a double meaning or a double reflection because it's like, there's the bird that kind of right. represents freedom, but right. then the drawings themselves are like a connection to the outside as well. Right. Yeah. And then, so that's like, you know, with the character, it's like this little boy with a mask. And I feel like, you know, it does reflect my childhood but I know that so many people can, you know, resonate with it, that they can put themselves behind the mask, kind of. Mm. Wow, that's really beautiful. That's, yeah. that's a great, that's a great, <laughs> oh, that's a great sound bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so in addition to um, the, the character with the mask, your work features something I really appreciate, which is flowers, mm-hmm. cacti, mm-hmm. other animals, dogs, butterflies. Um, I would love to hear you talk about including other living things that aren't people in your work. Yeah. It's it's all about just adding different elements to share the story. Um, I think when I add, yeah, whether it's like plants or dogs or, or other birds or um, different elements, it's to add to that story or add to the environment of where that character is at. Um, Mm. Yeah. And it, it, it just creates more, of like, I feel like my work is a visual narrative. Like when you see it, it's like this full story of what's going on. Or it's like a, a page to a larger chapter. And then with that chapter, there's a larger book or a larger, uh, you know, series of, of stories to be told. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like there's a common thread of a story in all of the work that you do? Or do you feel like it is these like, this mural is this story, you know, this other pieces this other story yeah no it all ties in because i feel like when i do one mural i'm like damn i really say all i wanted to say with this so this (laughs) is just one piece of the puzzle and then the next project i get like all right i want to share this part of it and then this part and okay yeah so it's all like pieces to a bigger puzzle at least of how i feel you know artists artists get so emotional like because that's (laughs) they just live in their head all day like all right how can i share this i've been thinking about this let me let me share this with with this drawing and some people just like you said like oh I like how you have flowers in your work and to me I'm like overthinking it like this rose represents growing <laughs> from this environment and it's blossoming and the red represent you know it's like yeah. most people are like all right that's cool and all but I have to allow the viewer to interpret it how they want to view it too yeah I mean but that those types of details are good for people like me who are like going to ask you questions about you know why did you do this and how did you do that so right. um I think and that, that definitely resonates of like, you never, with, with one piece, you're never going to be able to include or create exactly, you know, the way that you, you want to convey what you're trying to convey. But you can just do your best and, and wait for the next opportunity to come to do more. Yeah, of course. I think about, you know, like legendary artists, like the greats, like Picasso or Van Gogh. Like we might know five paintings, you know, the average person might know like two or three paintings, but you don't just you know, judge them off those one or two works that you know, you judge them off their entire story, their entire life, like what they, what they added, you know, to, to the world, basically. Yeah. You would hope you, I think every artist hopes that they're judged. Yeah. By, by their body of work. Yeah. Um, And, you you know, we just had like Martin Luther King day. um, And you don't just think about like, oh, remember he did that one thing, that one speech, it was his entire body of work that all comes together. Yeah. 